this is like problems with heaven because you're going to be like with all these bad, bad people. We're talking about serial killers. We're talking about the worst killers you can imagine. Especially those that said they repented and went for Jesus. You're stuck with them. You're stuck with them in heaven. That's And not only that, you're stuck with dead fetuses. Babies that didn't make it. Yeah, that's all going to be in heaven. Like I said, it's 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 a it's a wager of bullshit, you know. Heaven and hell. It's it's it, and the funny thing is, and hell is going to be the good people, the people that you know. It's like majority of the bad people are going to be in heaven, and the good people are going to be in hell. Such as scientists, atheists, agnostics, at least the people that didn't had no religion, the people that um. um so, you know, um, it's, um, it's bullshit. It's, that's why it can't exist. And if heaven and hell can't exist, obviously the gods can't exist. So, because the heaven and hell is like the big, the, like the biggest portion of the religion. You know, the heaven and hell. Um, and if that's bullshit, then the gods are bullshit. Um, so it... <laughs> If you think you're in Wonderland in heaven, no. If you could think you, it's it's Wonderland in hell, no either. So it's a it's a lose situation on both ends. It's it's bullshit. Um, but that's frightening. All those dead fetuses, those babies that didn't make it in heaven, that's freaky and scary and gross. Um, you know, that's, that's messed up. Um, and especially be with all these bad, bad people that killed, you know, and then they repented to go to heaven. You're stuck with all these rapists, murderers, killers. That's, that's terrible. That's, that's like, I mean, that's messed up. It's a made-up situation. There's like so many different heavens and hells of so many different religions. It's, you know, it, it's bullshit. So, you really don't have to worry. Take it from me, folks. Don't worry about heaven and hell. Then you don't have to worry about religion. If you want to practice religion, go ahead. But you don't. But you probably wouldn't really care to have to now because if you know heaven and hell. Like I say, this is bullshit. There's really nothing to worry about. Because that's like the like biggest part of the religion. Either the people want to go to heaven, or people are scared of hell. You know? And, um... Take it from me. It's bullshit. Live the life your best as you can. You got one life, as far as we know. Unless you go to another universe. Since we are in a simulation. You know? We are plugged into the computer. They did brain scans. You know, the scan of the brain is similar to the universe. Um, you know, just imagine, I'll give you a crazy year, but 60 years from now, probably solve everything. Probably even less than that. Maybe in five years, maybe even less. Ten. So, be patient, because we're at the time where science is advancing crazy. Technology is advancing crazy. This is, this is not the 80s and the 90s. You know, we're talking about stuff like, you know, time travel. We're talking about Science fiction becomes science fact. We're talking about warp drives going across the cosmos and stuff. Um, it's a good time to be alive. So, don't worry about the heaven or hell. Um, I can see how it would be cool to see your loved ones, but then again, you're stuck with all the killers. <laughs> uh, babies that didn't even make it. Dead fetuses. I don't know, man. It's, it's a bullshit situation. Besides... You know, you know this can't be real. Unless you took a magical pill. And then in, in this magical pill, like, you know, revealed everything about the cosmos and the universe. You know. That doesn't exist. You know. Taking on faith doesn't exist. Remember, there's so many different religions. So many different gods. So many heavens. So many hells. Um, so I'm just saying. I just figured I had to make this video point out there. 
because I don't want people to be scared of hell. And just letting you know the if you know when you, if you get to heaven, just say that there was heaven. That you're stuck with dead fetuses, babies that didn't make it, serial killers, the worst serial killers, rapists, you name it. The really, really bad people. We're in he and we're in hell. You, you got all the scientists. You got like uh, the atheists, the agnostics. Uh, so you got like all all the cool celebrities: Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, Angela Jolie, Jack Nicholson. Uh, who else? Um, Johnny Depp. Um, Johnny Depp's wife. Uh, whew, there's like so many. Madonna. Uh, Gwen Stefani. Samuel Jackson. Chris Rock. The party's in hell, folks. That's where the party's at. <laughs> but it doesn't exist. You don't have to worry about heaven and hell. Nothing to worry about. So live the life your best you can. And if you care to want to know the truth, stick with science. Because we're getting to the point where we're going to get to the, explain the laws, all the laws and forces of the universe in different dimensions. we got something called a hydro collider. What this does is special protons, I mean special particles, faster than the speed of light, more powerful than the sun and earth. Like I said, we're going to, this is some next levels type stuff, man. Because we are going to solve this stuff. To solve it all, folks. The universe is natural. The universe, the whole cosmos was supernatural. Yeah, gods, angels, demons, devils, all that shit could exist. But it doesn't, because it's natural. So there you go. I just destroyed any god. I destroyed any religion. Right there. It's that easy. I did that shit without science. <laughs> uh, and, and, Obviously, how did it all come about, the billions of galaxies, stars? It's because we're in a computer simulation controlled by other species. We are living in a simulation. That's why the, the universe is fine-tuned. Um, and let alone, remember, if the universe was exactly perfect, ideally could exist. But it's not. we got plants living in cracks. So, yeah, we're living in a simulation. They broke, when they studied the universe, they broke it down. It's a computer code of ones and zeros. A DNA is a computer code. So, this is proof 100% of no God. There you go, folks. Probably the last video I'll ever make. Next video I'll probably make, maybe, probably be more about transhumanism and uh, the future. Since I already just proved God right now. Told you we live in a simulation. Um, that's fine-tuned with aliens. And, and um, you know, it's like the aliens, they, you know... What we could do, and what we could do is when we find the laws and forces of the universe, we could trace the map, find out what that computer is, either destroy that computer, have our own reality, or get out of the simulation, make a better reality, a real reality. Um, and maybe when you die, you go to another simulation, you know, another universe, or maybe not. Chances are, it's probably the only one life you have. But if you go to a universe, hey, cool, you know. Um... But don't worry about having to say, oh, that shit don't exist. And what else to say? Um, so yeah, it's basically these aliens on the supercomputer. You know, they put the laws and forces of the universe. And then everything else took place. Evolution of space. Evolution of us. You know. Um, and evolution is true. Um, stay away from the creationist website. They twist and distort facts. So stay with the science. You will find... There's Earth's fossils for microevolution, microevolution, birds, our dinosaurs way, way back in a million years. You can trace all this shit and you can find all the fossils, astroprolificus. And, and you got to think of microevolution like this. Think about it as, like Dawkins said, a murder scene, right? You didn't see the murder, but you have evidence there was a murder. That's how microevolution is. But we have tons of evidence. We got transitional fossils. It's all there, folks. If you do want to do the research, you want to know the truth, it's all there. Just be careful to stay away from the Christianist websites. You could go to talkorigins.org. Um, there's Aaron Ra. He can explain it to you. 
Richard Dawkins, P.C. Myers, um, Lawrence Krauss. If you really want to care for the truth. If you don't, well, that's fine. That's up to you. Um, but I care for the truth. If the experience care for the truth, Matt Delahani cares for the truth. And people, obviously people in Sweden, the whole society is like atheists. They live longer, healthier, and no people in the jails. Whereas religious have religious wars. There's people in the jails. And not only this, we got problems now. ISIS is in your states, and they're probably going to try to set bombs in malls, which, which as I read, because they want everybody, the whole world, to be Sharia Allah. And this means they want to cover anybody. The Christians, they want to cover Jews, they want to cover anybody. You know? Um, Non-believers. So it's like you, like Christians and, and other religious people, now you have a problem now. You have a problem with uh, ISIS, because they want to convert everybody to their, their religion. And we know they will kill for it too. So, um, I say, the Christians should re re unite with the atheists, Jews, everybody. And what we could do is we could get the, we can focus on transhumanism. And then we can kill the, we get the aliens, they can kill the ISIS. And then, <laughs> or the transhumanists, we can kill the ISIS. Because we can make our bones stronger faster, we could have bionic arms, you know, we could have like metal armor that people can't kill us, bulletproof skulls, um, uh, but uh, you know, if, if some people are okay, you know, Southerners are okay with Sharia law, okay, but uh, if they're try, if they're going to try to blow, bomb your, your malls, don't say I didn't say so, just saying, you know. If you Southerners are okay with all religions, cool. But hey, when it comes to threatening and blowing up buildings, hey man. That's <laughs> all I can say. I warned you guys. Um, I'm just I'm, for, I'm here for a peaceful world, peaceful society with no violence. But uh, you know, uh, you have to make the, the the world the best you can make it. You have to fight for the rights and causes to make a better society for all. Um, but don't think religious people we're going to coexist. Sorry. If we don't believe in the religion, we can't coexist with any religion. You know? I think what I'm saying with coexist maybe is everybody should unite and take the ISIS threat down. You know what I'm saying? Whether religious or non religious. But atheists and us is coexisting. Just not going to happen, folks. If we don't care for religion, and we know religion is destructive, which it is. It's just not going to happen. So, um, there you go. I think I covered so much in this video. Explaining no gods. How it all started. <laughs> and to the future. So probably for now on, I'll make videos. Keeping you posted. For the Hydra Collider Beam. We found that computer to destroy the map and transhumanism. Peace out and uh, have a wonderful day and be safe and don't do violence. Take care of one another. And uh, atheists, we care. And don't listen to the, the past. Atheism didn't kill people, it was ideals, terrible ideals, such as communism and socialism and fascism. It's a different society. We're a proud and a uh, good atheist, and we just want peace and happiness for all. And I don't agree with violence, and I don't agree with those terrible ideals. You know, terrible ideals of communism, fascism, socialism. It's terrible. Those are different countries. Times have changed, and all that stuff is in the past. We're just here for a peaceful society with no violence. And, um, and you know, and freedom for all. Everybody has the right to practice their religion, but when it, but it, but when it influences politics and government and laws, and people can't get the treatment needed to save lives, and people can't do what they want for their body, especially when a baby's not even born yet, you know, you're taking.